Hi, I'm Willem from Papercut Software. I'm going to show you how to set up the cloud print feature in Mobility Print. So in a few minutes from now, your users will be able to print over the internet to your printers. Okay, so let's get into this. But just one more thing. At the moment, cloud print is only supported on managed Chromebooks. But fear not, Mac and Windows support is coming soon. All right, let's go. Here, I've opened the Mobility Print Server Admin Interface. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, or you haven't installed the Mobility Print Server yet, follow the steps in the video link that should appear now. All right, to switch on Cloud Print, click on Enable Cloud Print. All right, then you'll be presented with a confirmation screen. If you're interested in our privacy policy, there is a link for easy access. Click on Enable Cloud Print. This will take a few seconds to connect. If it doesn't, then double check that you don't have any firewalls blocking outbound traffic. We have a full list of firewall rules needed in the Mobility Print Help Center. The next step is to create an invite link. This invite link will provide users with access to your printers. If in the future you want to disable printing for anyone that will set up with this link, you can easily do so on the Manage Cloud Print page. I'm giving my invite link a description. This will not be seen by end users. It is only a reference for me if I want to disable this link in the future or see how many print jobs were printed using it. The next two options are the invite link expiration date and the printing expiration date. The invite link expiration date is the date when this link can no longer be used to get access to your printers, but it will not stop anyone from printing who was already set up previously. The printing expiration date is the date these users will no longer be able to print. This is handy if you have to give temporary access to a group of users. If you are using Papercut NG or MF, you can opt for the no expiration as you control printing per user in any case. Next, click on generate link. In a future release, this will be the link you send to students or staff with BYD computers. It will contain a few easy steps to follow to get up and running and printing to your printers. But for now, this will be used to set up your managed Chromebooks. We'll do this through G Suite Admin Console. All right, so in a new tab, go to admin.google.com. In the menu, click on Devices, Chrome Management. Then click on Apps and Extensions. On the left, choose the organizational unit you want to deploy Mobility Print to. Then in the bottom right, click on the plus and select Add from Chrome Web Store. Search for Papercut Mobility Print. Then click on Select. Now change the policy from Allow Install to Force Install. And next, we are going to enter the invite link to the Policy for Extension field on the right. G Suite expects a JSON formatted value. So check out the Mobility Print Help Center for an example. Copy and paste the JSON in there. Now go back to the Mobility Print tab and copy your invite link. Replace this bit with your invite link and click on save. And that's it. Any user from this organizational unit can now print over the internet. All right, I'm logged in as one of these users and to print, I simply press Control P. Then under destination, select your mobility print printer and that's it. You've printed from anywhere over the internet. All right, so just a few tips. If you do have Papercut MF, set up your secure print release and change the default timeout for print jobs to a few days. That will allow users to print from home and then come into the campus or office, swipe their badge to release their print jobs. Tip number two, if you do not see any mobility print server in Chrome, open Chrome colon forward slash forward slash policy. Here, you should see Mobility Print, including the invite link. If you don't see it, first click on Reload. 
If you still didn't see it, go back to G Suite and make sure the user you're testing with is in the OU you deployed Mobility Print to. Make sure the JSON you entered is valid and you've pasted your invite link. And make sure you have given the Mobility Print app sufficient permissions. Again, check the Help Center for more information. Lastly, make sure the Cloud Print status in your Mobility Print admin interface is active. If not, check your firewall rules. And again, check the Help Center. We've listed all of them there. If you're still out of luck, feel free to reach out to our support team over chat or email, and we'll help you out. And that's it from me. Happy printing.